Today at the Edison Awards, we are exhibiting the Next Generation Diagnostic System, Increment 1, which is an infectious disease diagnostic that we are working and developing to field to the deployed warfighter. My name is Jason Opdyke. I'm the senior scientist for the diagnostics program under the Joint Project Management Office for Medical Countermeasure Systems. It was developed by Biofire Diagnostics and Biofire Defense as the government awarded a contract to them to specifically militarize some of the applications for that system. I'm Jennifer Dabish. I work for the Department of Defense, specifically for the Joint Project Management Office for Medical Countermeasure Systems. The technology is a, a genomic-based technology where we can uh, take a clinical sample from a patient, so in this case it would be a, a sick warfighter. We can put it into the instrumentation, the platform, and we can analyze it for a wide array of different biological agents. Such as anthrax, Ebola, Marburg, plague, tularemia, and Q fever. There are a lot of aspects of this technology that make it innovative. The technology is rather small, it's very portable. In the deployed setting for the warfighter, they're working in very confined spaces, so the ability to have something that, that is small is very important. In addition, the uh, time to result to get a result from this test is very short. There are a lot of command decisions that need to be made by commanders on the ground. Uh, these include things like evacuation decisions, quarantine decisions, and other uh, force health protection decisions. Being recognized by the Edison Awards essentially brings the name of the DoD closer to being more innovative, and it allows us to be and have companies come to us and be more innovative in adapting their technologies to addressing the need of the military and saving lives. At the Department of Defense, we're constantly looking for the best ways we can improve the readiness and the preparedness for our military personnel. Uh, to gain uh, some recognition for that is, is really something that I think we can all be proud of.